Hello and happy Transfer Tuesday. Transfer Tuesday is the day of the week where we move our money in the right direction, no matter which financial goal we are going after and no matter how much we can afford to transfer or contribute. If you've never heard of Transfer Tuesday or you just want to know more, check out my description box. I do have some more information there, but I am going to jump right in and start with an investment because I did get paid on Friday, December 15th. And whenever I get paid, I also contribute to my 401k. And a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about increasing. I was thinking about increasing my 401k contributions just for December, my final two paychecks. I had asked y'all's opinions and I read all of the comments, but like half of them were like, no, you should instead save. The, the sabbatical is more important to you, so focus on saving for that. And then the other half were like, yeah, you'll never get 2023 back. You'll never get this 401k for 2023 back. So just go ahead and put as much as you can. Well, I decided, I did decide <laughs> to do 50%, a 50% contribution to my 401k. So that means half of my paycheck from December 15th went to my 401k and then half of my paycheck on the final day of the month will also go to my 401k. I decided to do this just because it's something, one, that I'm comfortable with, like because I knew how much to expect from my business income in December and even going into to January, I felt much more comfortable to just go ahead and do a large contribution because I knew a large amount was coming in from my my business. So I am very grateful to be able to, to say that and to just even be able to do this. The other reason I wanted to do this was so that I could just have more money invested. I really, overall, if you look at everything, as of the end of November, I think I have like 46, 48,000 maybe actually invested in the market. Obviously my net worth is a little bit higher because I have more in cash savings, but I really do want my investments to actually be higher before going into my sabbatical or taking my business full time because the more that I just have there, the, the more it will just grow on its own. When I actually do take my business full time, the goal is to invest every single month. Most important to me is like maxing out my Roth IRA every single year going forward, even if I'm not working a full-time job. I think I should be able to do that, but I, I would feel much better just having more in the market so I can have some form of Coast Fi. Coast Fi is where you have enough money invested that it grows until you reach like 62 or 65 when you hit actual retirement that you don't have to keep putting more money into it. Obviously, me just having 50k invested or 100k invested whatever it ends up being by the time i take my business full time is not enough for me to coast to full retirement but it would definitely help so i kind of just wanted a little bit more in the market i am nowhere near close to maxing out my 401k for 2023 even if i did 100 percent of my paycheck i wouldn't have been able to max out my 401k that wasn't my intention i just kind of wanted to give it an extra little push at the end of the year while I felt comfortable doing so. Now, my company still just matches 6%, so despite me putting in 50% of my paycheck, they still are only matching 6% of that. So altogether, I contributed $1,470, and then my company's 6% came to $176.40 for a total of $1,646.40. So that's a pretty solid amount invested. The market is looking pretty strong right now. It's been increasing, but I just don't really pay attention to that. Like I said, I will do 50% from my final paycheck of the year as well, and then I will readjust in the new year and see what things will look like moving forward. It's probably in the new year, will probably be like 30% of each paycheck, but I'm not sure yet. That is it as far as investing goes. So now we can talk about my savings. So right now my focus is saving for my sabbatical. I did decide that in the new year, I will not be continuing to save in this sinking fund specifically. So I'm gonna move this money in January to a different sinking fund. And I'm really gonna focus on specific things so that when I take my business full time, I'm more prepared for all of the things. But for the rest of December, we're just riding with this sabbatical sinking fund and I've been continuing to save into that account. As of last Transfer Tuesday, I reached $1,300 in my sabbatical sinking fund. And since then, I have made a couple of transfers. On payday, so on December 15th, I did go ahead and move the $500 that goes to my Regions checking account over to my sabbatical sinking fund, so just the 500 
I did, I do have the 250 going to my Chase checking account, but I went ahead and put that to my main checking account because my paycheck was so small, it was like a thousand dollars, you know? And I need a little bit more than, like I just wanted more in my main checking account just so I could pay everything that I needed to pay for. So just the 500 this time around. After that, I did make one more transfer, but that came from three people. So it was three pieces of direct support. Now, I know that usually when I receive direct support, I invest it. I put it into my brokerage account. That's what I have done over the last few months. But because I put so much into my 401k, I decided I'm not going to contribute to my brokerage account at all in December. So all this direct support that I'm about to talk about did go to my sabbatical sinking fund, which will go elsewhere when I in January. So on Thursday, December 14th, I received $50 through Venmo from Connie. And she said, Merry Christmas, Layla. I meant to send this after our last one-on-one -on -one session. Thank you for all the help and insights. I'll be living vicariously through you during your sabbatical prep. Keep up the amazing work and good luck with everything. Huge shout out to Connie. Thank you so much. She was one of my clients and she did a power session. That is one of my one-on-one -on -one session options. And yeah, it's, I love doing those sessions, but I really appreciate, she did not have to do this, you know, she already paid for the service. So I really appreciate this on top of it. And this is actually the second time she's given me like a little bonus because after our first call, she sent me a $50 Amazon gift card and was like, use this to buy books because y'all know I love buying books. So it was just so sweet and literally made my whole week. So yeah, thank you so, so much, Connie. That was really kind of you. On Friday, December 15th, Sina sent me $100 and he said, happy holidays. Hope you have a great year ahead, Layla. Thank you so, so much, Sina. Sina has supported me tremendously over the last couple of years. It's incredible. I really can't thank him enough, but thank you dearly, Sina. And then on the same day, just a little bit after that, I received direct support from Denise and she said, Layla, thanks so much for a fun and financially inspiring 2023. May 2024 bring you closer to your goals. Please continue to take us along on your journey. Happy holidays. Also with Denise, she has supported me so much. Plus I see her in the comments. There's a couple of Denise's, but this one specifically is Denise P. And of course I will continue to take y'all along on my journey. I am grateful that my content inspires her and y'all because y'all inspire me. <laughs> like truly a lot of the success that I have experienced would not have happened without this YouTube channel. So from all three, pieces of support to that came to $175 and I decided to just do that transfer all together. So on, it actually went through, was that yesterday? Yes. I think I did it over the weekend. So on December 18th, $175 was successfully transferred to my sabbatical sinking fund. So again, huge thank you to Connie, Sina, and Denise. Now, I guess I'll go ahead and make one transfer for this video. I'm gonna be taking this from my main checking account and I'm just gonna go ahead and get this over 2,000. So I'm gonna do a transfer of $125. We'll pop that confirm page up on the screen as I confirm and that's going to be it for my savings. So all together over the last week, I have transferred $800 to this sinking fund. Again, thank you to Connie, Sina and Denise for $175 of that. I now have $2,100 in this sinking fund and I'm not going to say what the goal, the goal was 36,000, but since it's all changing around, I'm no longer saying how much I have remaining. There is one more transfer Tuesday in 2023, which is absolutely insane. I should be able to make some progress, I think next transfer Tuesday, but if not, it will be into the new year. And yeah, overall, just very excited to get started on all of my financial goals for 2024. And speaking of goals, I recently uploaded my financial goals for 2024 and I have quite a few end of year videos coming in either December or it will be into January to give you all some final numbers for the year. So stay tuned for all of that. But please feel free to comment down below what you did to move your money in the right direction for today's Transfer Tuesday. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one.